I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent pass. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and then we'll go then we'll talk about why it's all happening. So Sagittarius. In the recent past, we have religious factors. And religious factors, it says that your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Religious factors is paired with choice. On the flip side of choice, it says for every action, there is a reaction. So choose wisely. So in the recent past, you probably were feeling spiritual or everything that you did or a lot of things that you did. Um, you did it with a lot of thought. Um, you used your religious beliefs to take action or to not take action. So you always made a choice. Seems like you always made a conscious choice to whatever you did and. Uh, your religious factors, it, it played a major role in the decisions you made. This could have been with a person, a connection, or a situation. But uh, I'm picking up on you had some strong religious beliefs. Or just maybe you were the type that just didn't stand for anything. You know what they say, if you stand for anything, what do they say, what is that saying, if you... Don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. That's what that saying is. So you you just didn't do what everyone else was doing. You had certain beliefs and standards, and um, it played a factor in your relationships, the people, in your relationships and your friendships. So you were always choosing wisely. I feel like I'm reading for someone who's really wise and um, they have a lot of wisdom. Maybe, maybe um, someone that's um, been here before. Yep, someone's really wise. So, let's move on down. Let's talk about the present time. Now, for your present time, Sagittarius, we have the Page of Wands, and it's with the Emperor. Now, the Page of Wands, they're about... It's about people that are warm, ambitious, usually high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it's about having the energy of easy distraction. So you'll probably find it hard to stay focused at this time. You might have started something some time ago and it's starting to come to fruition, but you have to so you have to try to stay focused um, because it can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page, it brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. You have to do that. When it talks about love and relationships, there's some type of message of love and affection that's coming your way. If you're single, there's a new new person, and this person you have a lot, whole lot in common with. They'll be very adventuresome. They could be coming. They could be about to come into your world. That's what this page of wands is about. You might want to take a chance on them, but only if you're truly single, and if you're committed and unhappy. Now's the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved, and how long you try to make it happen. Both parties. Both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship. And if your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. Now this page of wands is paired with the emperor. The emperor, it's about domination over the mind, over the heart. And sometimes it's necessary, but not really wanted. In fact, um, you probably should welcome this. And that's what you must think about when this emperor appears. 
Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor, it signals this, but it also signals that now is a time you'll probably find it easier to make hard choices because you're using your head and not your heart. So enjoy the assertiveness, assertiveness and confidence that the self-control focus is going to bring you at this time. So go ahead and move ahead, forge ahead, and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have very little problem mastering other obstacles that life might throw at you in the month of March. When this emperor talks about love and relationships, you could find yourself falling for someone who's older than you. This person, they'll probably be attracted to order, logic, and organization. They'd probably be a very together type person. Very pulled together. But the attraction, it may not be mutual from the very start. If you're patient and persistent, it will grow. Just remember, fireworks at the beginning, they're all well and good. But if you really ask yourself how long do fireworks last for in a relationship or in life, we all know that a slow burning connection, it will far outlast the fireworks. So with these two cards for your present time, Page of Wands and Emperor, uh, it's about trying to stay focused. Yeah, and you should be able to do that. Because as the Emperor, you're using your mind rather than your heart at this time. So this will help balance you out. Yeah, this will, this will help balance you out a lot as the Emperor. Um, because as a Page of Wands, you might feel like you're going in circles with certain things because you're so excited and you got a lot of energy. And it's making you ha having a hard time staying focused. But then the Emperor, like I said, the Emperor is really strong in the head. And he doesn't really use his heart. So this is going to help balance you out for your present time. And you'll be able to be more, become more focused. Um, because you're, you're not using your heart. Or this is something that you should practice for the present time. Now let's move on down and let's take a look at how they view you. The person that you're dealing with. They view you as a Nine of Cups, and they also view you as a Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards, most pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping and dreaming about is going to be yours in a brief period of time. This card, it, it's a cordon of happiness, good things to come about. Uh, it means that what you want, like I said, it's likely to become, well, it's likely to come into being in your life. If you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is a very powerful yes. But like everything else in the tarot, this yes could be a powerful yes or a super powerful yes. Because the Nine of Cups is just one cup short of the ten of cups so it's a yes it's a strong yes when this nine of cups talks about uh, love and relationships it's a very good card in the tarot for your love life and uh, if you're already in a relationship it's possible that it's going to deepen become better and sweeter now this is a time uh, if you're single Sagittarius to meet people really good time for that so make sure you get out and socialize have conversations with strangers uh, because they are potential outcomes the ideal is to have fun at this time now the person that you're dealing with this is how they see you they see you as very uplifting and pleasant they see you as 
being blessed and satisfied. Uh, they see you as um, their wish. And because it's with this Ten of Pentacles, it's a happy indicator when it comes to love. If you're in a relationship, it means that it'll move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All these things can be an indicator of this Ten of Pentacles. For a time, you're likely to have a very peaceful, happy period in your life and in your love life. So enjoy it and make sure that your lover knows how much they mean to you. And if you're not in a relationship, discard this Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's, um can mean that a new love may come into your life so fast. It's going to make your head spin. But you have to be open. So this is how they see you. This Ten of Cups, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. They see you as blessed, satisfied. They see you as as their wish. Um, Ten of Pentacles, they see you as being happy with regards to this connection. Um, they see you as... Um, being thankful for this connection. They also see you as marriage potential. Engagement with this Ten of Pentacles. Now let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. You see them as Nine of Wands and Page of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Wands, it's about anxiety and worry, being burdened and keyed up over certain issues, concerns. The first and best step is often to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you must, because at least some of the worries, they're probably imaginary. If you can see in the picture, this man has these wands surrounding him, he looks like he can't get out, or he thinks he can't get out. And there's no one around him, but he's battling himself. So, take it one day at a time, one hour at a time. Like I said, at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. Get very specific on what you're afraid of. Pick it apart. Ask yourself, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Comfort yourself and... If you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it because asking for help is a strong, is the mark of a strong person. When this Nine of Wands talks about love and relationships, it's important to remember that no relationship and nothing can stand up to constant picking apart, nagging, um, dissecting. So try to give your lover some breathing space. And if you're single, and you get the Nine of Wands. Just understand that the time may simply not be right for you at this time if you're looking for love. Uh, you might want to ask yourself, are there things about you that you would like to change? Maybe get yourself together whole emotionally so that when you are ready for a new relationship that the person that you're attracting to your life is also whole. So, you might not want to be in too much of a hurry. And this is how you see them. This is how you view the person that you're dealing with as this Nine of Wands. They, you see them as having some anxiety about this connection, or they just have a lot of worry about something. They're stressed out. Yeah, they, and it, it, it could be all just in their head. They're stressed out about something. And because it's with this Page of Pentacles, uh, Page of Pentacles is about, if you're in a relationship, it could have lost some of its luster. It doesn't have to mean it's the end, but it does mean that action and discussion is necessary. So to create change, you have to be honest about how you're feeling. And if you're unattached and single and you can't seem to meet someone, look at what you're holding in your heart. You could still be attached to an ex. You may need to let go of that before you can really move forward. So 
once again, you see the person you're dealing with that's stressed out, a lot of anxiety about something, something in the connection or maybe just something else going on. And, um, and because it's with this page of pentacles, um, you see them as also having a lot of ambition, desire, and diligence. To keep this connection going, even though some of the um, spark or excitement has kind of diminished in this connection. But it looks like they still want to move forward with it. Because the Page of Pentacles is about doing things, you know, to bring the excitement back. So, they got some type of anxiety, but they want to keep this, can you see the wanting to keep this connection going, even though um, it needs work. And let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. Uh, it's happening because the Eight of Wands and the Magician. Now, the Eight of Wands is about a lot of things being up in the air. You could be tired of waiting. Um, but you have to be patient a while longer. You probably have done all that you can do. Now, decisions, they have to be made by other people. When this card appears, as it is in your reading... Nothing seems to be moving ahead. Nothing. They're just up in the air, those wands. Nothing is moving ahead. It's not moving fast enough. But you cannot force things. Because if you try to force things, it's going to backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. And all we can do is put our best out there and see where it lands. When well, the Eight of Wands talks about love and relationships... Uh, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming. Again, you cannot push someone before they're ready. You cannot get your needs met by force. You cannot. So distract yourself if necessary. And your person, they may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. Now that's why it's all happening. Or one of the reasons why it's all happening is because of this Eight of Wands. There's a lot of things that are just moving slow in this connection. Uh, someone could possibly want to talk and communicate, but they're just not doing it fast enough. Or some situation is just moving slow. Maybe the, the person that you're dealing with is moving slow. Um, things are kind of just up in the air. But it's paired with the magician. So the magician is about the power of manifestation, uh, taking action and making things actually happening, making, taking action and making things actually happen, making things happen. But you got to take action. That's what this magician is about. So, um, the magician is also about, could be a trickster. So, you could look at this as two ways. Um, things aren't moving ahead, or they're not moving as fast as you would like for them to in this connection. So, someone could possibly be using tricks in this connection because um, like I said the magician could be about a trickster or someone maybe manifested this connection but um, they didn't put in as much action as they should have because the magician magician is about if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. If you do something, you'll get everything. So maybe 
someone is not using the powers that they have like they should they're just using it in a, in a I hate to say this but in a lazy way where things just aren't moving fast enough but they actually have the power someone has the power to make a lot of things happen in this connection but they're just not they're not doing it aggressively enough they're not taking the action that's needed so it's just slowing things down and that's why it's all happening so Sagittarius I hope you enjoyed this reading there'll be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks if by chance I don't get a, the uh, opportunity to do an to do an extended for this reading there's always a link for personal readings in the description box below I just want to say thank you so very much for watching please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I hope 2020 is going well for you and I hope February is a beautiful month for you and um, I hope that you have a really wonderful day and once again thank you for watching watching watching